Hey, what is going on guys? Thanks for checking out this video, my supports, Kimatria. I made a little post on uh, November 12th on my Patreon. Uh, I think that was on uh, Friday, Saturday or Friday. Uh, just mentioned, just went over some numbers with the uh, Kyle Rittenhouse and Gabby Petito. I just found some numerical coincidences, nothing crazy, just, uh, just some coincidences. Um, maybe you're into that sort of thing, maybe you're not, no big deal. Uh, but th this is just what I found, uh, and this is what I wrote, uh, just in case some of you guys aren't on my page. I wanna, I'm going to go ahead and read it to you. The night of the shooting for the Kyle Rittenhouse shooting, the night of the shooting took place on August 25th in the year 2020. And for Gabby Petito, the last Instagram post she made on Instagram, her last one, was on August 25th, 2021. So August 25th, 2020 was the shooting. August 25th, 2021 is the last time Gabby Petito made a post on her Instagram page. Uh, the caption on Gabby's last post on her Instagram on August 25th, 2021 was Happy Halloween. And the Halloween holiday uh, this year, specifically in 2021, was on the 25th day of the 8th month for the Hebrew religious, like 25 slash 8 or 85 slash or 8 slash 25, uh, which is very similar to August 25th, written 8 slash 25 or 25 slash 8. The shooting took place on August 25th. Gabby's last post on Instagram was August 25th. Her last post was about Halloween. Halloween this year was on the 25th day of the 8th month on the Hebrew religious, like 25 slash 8. The night of the shooting for Kyle Rittenhouse was the 331st day of the Hebrew civil year, which is the 67th prime number. And Gabby Batito's last birthday of her life took place on the 6th day of the 7th month for the Hebrew civil side of the calendar, written 6 slash 7, like 67. From August, from the Gregorian date of August 25th to the Halloween holiday, August, October 31st, is a distance of 67 days. So I was just picking up just some numerical coincidences here between the two. Um, from the night of the shooting, August 25th, 2020, and what would be Gabby's last birthday for her life in 2021... It's a total span of 207 days. So from August 25th, 2020, the night of the shooting, to Gabby's last birthday, uh, March 19th, 2021, total span of 207 days. The words Kyle Rittenhouse sums to 207. The words Kyle Rittenhouse also sums to 72 as well. And he was 72 years old the night of the, or 72, he was 17. <laughs> 72 years old he was 17 years old the night of the shooting and gabby petito posted exactly 17 photos on instagram from start to finish on her road trip which ha just so happened to have started on july 2nd written 7 slash 2 so he was 17 years old on august 25th Gabby Petito, her 17th Instagram post for the trip was on August 25th. And his name sums to 72, and she went on a road trip starting on July 2nd, 7 slash 2. Gabby Petito was born on March 19th, written 9 slash, or 3 slash 1 9, like 319. And the closing arguments for the Kyle Rittenhouse trial takes place on this upcoming Monday, which is today, the day I'm recording this video. It already took place today. I'm recording this video late. Uh, and today is the 319th day of the Gregorian year. So the closing arguments for the case is on the 319th day. She was born on 3 slash 19. Just some more coincidences, similarities. March 19th or the 19th of March can be written 19 slash 3. Like 193. 193, the 44th prime number. Talk about this number a lot with uh, all the videos I've done of her. For example, rainbow sums to 44. She was, her body was found near a rainbow in the 44th state, which is Wyoming. She had a tattoo that read, let it be 44. 
Her last Instagram post was her 17th. 17 sums to 44, and just like how Kyle was 17 years old, just like how the 17th Instagram post was of was her last for her life. The shooting took place in Wisconsin, 44. Uh, and there's a very real possibility that, ability that Kyle can be found not guilty, 44, uh, which is a verdict I agree with 100%. I agree with it 1,000%. I agree with it a million percent. And I suppose with the number 44, we can talk about Hank Aaron on the number 44 and how he wore the number 44. And this year in the MLB postseason, the number four seed Red Sox and the number four seed Dodgers, like 4-4, were the sacrifice teams for the World Series, uh, allowing the Astros and the Braves to go ahead into the World Series. Reason being, Astros manager Dusty Baker was mentored by Hank Aaron, and they both played on the Braves in their career. Astros versus Braves. Hank Aaron passed away this year. Wore the number 44. Four seed Red Sox. Four seed Dodgers. Sacrifice teams. Braves beat the Astros with their manager, Dusty Baker. Never forget 9-11. The Braves won the World Series this year, nine months and 11 days since Hank Aaron's passing. And he passed away on the ninth day of the 11th month of the Hebrew religious calendar, written 9-11. Gabby Batito was officially reported missing this year on the 11th of September, written 11-9. Kyle Rittenhouse's trial's closing arguments that took place today on Monday it just happens to be the 11th day of the ninth month for the Hebrew religious side, like 11 slash 9. And uh, from Monday, which is today, till Kyle's next birthday, which is in 2022, is a distance of 1 month and 19 days, like 119. So I just thought I'd go ahead and share that really quick. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Hopefully it was entertaining. If not, no big deal. Uh, just some more numbers to add to the whole Gabby thing that I was doing already. Uh, but this time we're adding in the coincidences for Kyle Rittenhouse. And uh, thanks for watching.